Okay, there we go. Let's go! I accidentally just smacked the headphones mic, so I apologize for that. Um, yeah, we're still in the same place. I just went down there. Because uh, I was fixing the sound. I couldn't hear anything, and that was messing me. Got the fountain of baby face with legs. Would you say this is a centipede? Oh. I can wash my hands in this. Explorer, but where do we start? Pull this out. This looks promising. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. Well. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. So, you want us to take an elevator? Is that the right way to go right now? Machine room? It's locked. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Now, where could that key be? It's not working. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Okay, so machine room should be there. We gotta find a key to get into the machine room. So, that side is storage. We can check out upstairs first. A study. He returned to the teacup saucer and picked up the orb. Would the apple be pondered on the strange happenings? Oh, yeah, that's right. He got a glass orb. Don't slam the door. dark in here or what? Can you handle this? You can be a little bitch if it's dark. in here. Are you tripping? Oh, it's because you hear the dogs. That's cool, that's cool. Ain't nothing to worry about. Save my lantern. Got an entry. I'm stuck on a pile of these books. According to the discovery. See, the D and the O look exactly the same. 
Except that one has a small little line. To our most trusted student and friend, John Wayfair. The most. Uh, it's just easier. Most trusted student and friend, John Wayfair. The most remarkable thing that happened as I was traveling through the Persian woods, Perugian woods this summer I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for all the last 20 odd years it is <coughs> it is as unexpected as the helio helio dramas helio dramas described in the hortus conclusions conclusus it was as it was told about an underlying message temple crowned with the unearthing uh, artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich contrast as contrast. It, nothing enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibly an artifactual paradox captured within stone. I was studying in a nearby village called Altstad, investigating one of the qualities, uh, one of the antiquated trials. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside, and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is this is the most important discovery of my life, but it. But it was also, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to f to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from this place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It it bayed. It bathed loudly as it closed in. The beast is guarding the orb. Was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravin where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. Black water levels of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the I pressed on through the drenched land and was glowing amber. Gave way the rising wind and and rained on me. I could hear pleading screaming in the distance. I joined in as pain and fear overlooked me. Pain and fear overlooked me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the hollowing cry I heard in the forest. It was it has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, the last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstad. Your friend, mentor, Henrich Cornelius Agrippa. Okay. Okay. Get out of here.
what's going to come up now? Alright, so I can't get out this way. Find another way around the rubble and the study. Looks like they had a nice feast in here. Chambers of the human skull. Oh, it's this way. like there was some anatomy being oh, oh. anatomy being done. Canine spine. So he hid it in the dog or something? Can't pick those up. Got some letters right there. Oh, there's something right here. Uh, Kenneth Lupus familiar, Familiaris Animal Experiment. After a short study, it is clear that the Agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. Uh, there is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refrain this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be there to... the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Androgynous or Has some roast dog head. Oh, can you? No. How about like this? No. Okay. Hello. Hi. How do you do? You look very old. Yes. Take a book. Okay. I 
I shall take just one bit. I can have roast stock in here. Let's take. We bring. Offer. We're gonna. F most. Ah, no. Okay. Good. Good. I don't want to waste my. My box. My Tinder box. Shit. Gotta put it all back. They're gonna find out. It's okay. It's okay. Scully. It's okay. Hitchcock. That's fine. Okay. You wanna. Uh. Go down there. They won't find you. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. They won't know. You'll be you'll 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 be perfectly fine. Look, I'll fix you right up. You can go right, right there. You, there you go. Hey, not bad. Look at that. It's pretty good. Oh, don't look at that. Don't look at that. What you mad? You want to head too? You get nothing. Take a chair. On the tender box. There's nothing else here. What is this? You want me to take? Burn in the fire? Burn in fire? There. Put this back. Come on. There. I put back. Dogs, shut up. Oh, it's right here. Anatomy Frontiers. 1658 January 9th further dis further disappointment the antique the antiquarians <laughs> latest findings yielded nothing I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of the life and its relation to the power <laughs> I shall purse more I shall pursue <laughs> more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain, since no research has been made in the particular entrance interest. I must I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Got a point. Wait. <laughs> Come on, bird. Let's go. Fly free. Fly away. Jackrabbit, I'll take you. There was nothing in here that I needed, right? I said find another way to the study hall. But there wasn't. It was just that and then a dead end. The crack window panes are held together only by weak wooded frames. 
Oh, but would you look at that? Was that there the whole time? Let's add that on right now. Just in case. Just in the case. Nothing else in here. Just to be positively sure. Goodbye. Goodbye. This actually really looks good. Bye. Let's go, 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 let's
dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, We covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? He's fucking with you. Picked up a crowbar. Hell yeah. It's a one time use. Come on. The key. Please let it be here. Really? Can't use it again? Bruh, I'm hiding. I was in a closet though. pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Okay. So you finna come after me now or what, what dog? 
trying to tell me I can't hide in there. Yeah, there was nothing in there besides those notes and a crowbar. I didn't find I didn't find a key or anything. Go down to the storage. Cuts and bruises, I got 12. Okay. Let's check the no. Strange and unnatural. Yeah, I, I, I bet. just means I already went in there so I don't have to go in there again check this side real quick Explosive mixtures. Yay! More explosive mixtures. I have prepared the explosives you need for clearing the f for clearing the flood train. I can't stress enough how important it is to uh, important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your your feather brain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves. Ex 
the glue are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is to mix the liquids and you are ready to go. Okay, so in the other room, they're already mixed. I just have to mix it. They're already arranged, I just gotta mix them, yeah. Okay, okay, nothing else. And these. Can't move these, okay. No, okay. Drill part. How would you even get to that? Storage is storage. Some items can be combined in the inventory, you drag and drop them in order to uh, on, onto another to attempt to combine. Okay. All the parts. That's all there was here. That's where I found that one.
Okay, so that's all I needed from down here. out of here then. Oh wait, there's still this. Still won't budge? Why?
Oh, let's try this. Get out of here. Throw something at it. Save and quit. Oh, I can't wait to finish that later.